Today we are going to check out Why Sume 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 by Maxim the Hormone. It's such a great song. And yes, this is completely inspired by the Rick Beato series. What makes the song great? Shout out to Rick Beato. Just to let you know, we are doing a cover of the song. It's releasing on May 5th. You can set the reminder right now for the song. With that being said, let's just get into it. All right, so first off, we want to make sure that we are in D standard. So we got D up here, A, and then it's A, D, G, B, E. So what makes this song so cool is how it goes through thrash metal grunge with this pop punk attitude with it but like the melody isn't totally too poppy like it's just super catchy and that's what i really want to talk about today how this is all broken down the bass and the drums really support the overall melody of the song and the guitar this is definitely very guitar oriented the drums do some key things in this song that are really amazing and that's what we're going to go over right now so we have this like chromatic feel very awesome for thrash metal for anything that's just like it actually reminds me of like that old school metal where it's like this style is really cool because it's like it's just upstrokes like you cannot get that feel going downstrokes and the cool thing is they take that chromatic feel and then they bring it back starts off with complete chaos and then you it's like developing you know like you, you trimmed it back the tricky thing with this whole entire song is just the speed of it and then you have this really groovy riff that comes after it well, I'm messing it up right now, but... And then, of course, for this part, what was cool about the drums, it has this really cool hi-hat pattern along with this bass. Listen to how this grooves together. And, like, that groove is so cool because playing it slow, it's like... It adds a little bit of melody. So you see how you went from this chord, not so much melody, to a little bit more melody. And then to a little bit more melody. See, now you have, now you have something working there, right? Or even if you... They're hanging out on this A sharp right here. It sets it up for when that chorus comes in later on. But before we get there, it gets a little bit simpler, a little bit more melodic. Now that we're done with all the screaming and the rap, that's more on the edgier side. Now we have this like chant going on. And again, very groovy. You're coming from that one groove into this groove and then it gets heavy again. And that's what I'm saying about this song. There's so many genres within the same song, but you'll realize that it's actually all structured. It's it's a repeat structure that they do. And that's what makes it catchy, I think. And then they open it up right here. It's so simple, but so effective. Right after that, you got to... And then you got what I call the Nirvana riff afterwards. impressed me about the transition because you're like wait how is that punk riff gonna get back into and this is how they do it this chord right here this power chord it's just one note difference right so because you're only playing these two notes here it's only that you're just taking that away that's why maximum hormone is so effective at changing genres because they find the relationship between the notes of the last chord they just played going into the next chord. and then of course we have that whole middle section that gets evil at it repeats and they have this beautiful jazz chord i don't know the name it sorry i've I suck when I come <laughs> to explaining music theory. <laughs> I'm like the low budget at Rick Piotto, okay? Leave me alone. I cannot leave without mentioning the beautiful melody. 
chords and you can hear how the melody outlines those chords beautifully they add like extra notes to the chords let me know what i should do next any any song doesn't matter what genre i'll break down any song you know i won't know the most technical words to say but I, you know i'll try my best and I'll, I'll learn with you guys we can learn together all right see you